Hello and welcome to HWM. Today we are going to be looking at this beautiful 1971 DBS manual. Now this car is fresh from a really comprehensive restoration so it is in beautiful condition and it's finished in a colour that is called Azuro Blue. So it's original colour, factory colour was Azuro Blue so it's true to its, its original build. Um, let's take a little look around the car. So DBS has really increased in desirability in recent years, and it's not difficult to understand why. I mean, first of all, it has this beautiful, muscular William Towns design um, that partially went after the US market, but it definitely sets a purposeful stance for DBS. And under the bonnet, replacing the what was a bit of a tired straight six engine was the V8 of Tadek Merrick and all of a sudden it elevated the performance of DBS to true supercar standards. So this is a car that puts out mid 300s brake horsepower. It was capable of 160 miles an hour top speed and that combined with the sheer size of the car makes it actually a very comfortable vehicle to travel in. It's got four decent seats, it's got a big boot and importantly it's got a big fuel tank. It's got 21 gallons um, of capacity in the fuel tank for long distance touring. So as an all round car to enjoy, to use, to bring your family along with, it's just a great prospect. The condition of this car throughout is absolutely incredible. So it's been restored with a great eye for detail. From the way the wheels are finished to the chrome work, uh, all of the exterior details come together beautifully. Um, the paintwork is just stunning. It's deep, it's glossy. It looks brand new from the outside. So the restoration has been, been done really well. Um, following through to the interior, where again, it, it has a bit of a pattern on the leather, but other than that, it's, it's in superb condition. So the cabin has a wonderful feel. It's a, it's a very natural driving position. The gear lever falls to hand with this five-speed ZF box. You feel like you could, you could travel all day. The seats are comfortable, they're supportive. And actually what I've got around me in terms of gauges and so on um, is just perfectly placed. So you can feel this car is, is built for long distance um, and it still makes me smile things like electric windows in a 1970s car or an electric aerial is still something to be excited about in that era. Um, and it's practical, so I've got plenty of space around me, I've got a decent sized glove box, I can put either lots of luggage on the rear seat or I could take passengers in there, that would be comfortable. It feels really usable. And the other beautiful thing about this car is the controls and buttons. So. Again, every, everything's just nicely finished and has been refurbished beautifully. So the car feels fresh and usable with lovely carpeting, lovely headlining. Um, it's ready to go. So the DBS is blessed with a very clean rear end and it's a wonderful fastback shape. And despite this tapering, there is still actually a surprisingly deep boot that hides underneath. So you would be able to get plenty of luggage in here for a decent European tour. And the other important thing about this car is it's, it's been well set up. So there has been a lot of attention to detail all the way through the car. So the engine is set up beautifully. The fuel injection is set up perfectly. It drives 
as it should do, as well as looking right. Despite being a reasonably large car, the DBS is still an extremely dynamic vehicle for this era. It's got a great chassis that you can certainly steer off the throttle and is really quite nimble when you want it to be, again, relative to the size of the car. And it's even got great brakes, so at the point of maximum braking force, this car is capable of over 1G of braking force, which I think is really impressive for a vehicle like this. It's got disc brakes all round. So actually, this is a car that you can have some fun in or make it that long-legged, long-distance Tourer. So to go with a car that has had such a detailed restoration, the DBS has also got this beautiful file that gives us all of the information on the car, including its original build sheet. And it has carefully been documented beyond MOTs and services and so on, all of the latest spend on the car, which amounts to over 130,000 pounds to get it to the point that it's at today. So we have a car that is beautifully presented because it's been a labor of love to restore it to its current position. So should you wish to come have a look at the car or if you wish to reserve the vehicle online, you can do so at hwmastonmartin.co.uk. Thank you.